Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Adelina and I make videos about living in my tiny house on wheels and living a more intentional life. It has snowed. I'm not sure if you can see that. So I'm looking forward to making something that is kind of comforting. So today I'm going to make some cornbread. It's a very simple recipe. And if that sounds good to you, stay watching. Here are the ingredients for our cornbread recipe. Yellow cornmeal, I guess white would work too. Some white flour, which absolutely exploded when I opened it. Some whole wheat flour, a little bit of sugar, some baking soda, salt, non-dairy milk. I'm gonna use this uh, oat milk, lemon juice, butter or margarine, cream corn, and kernel corn, frozen or in a tin. You'll also need a couple of bowls, one for the wet ingredients, one for the dry, some measuring cups, measuring spoons, and something to stir things with. Then a cake pan, eight by eight or whatever, <laughs> whatever size this is. And that's all we're gonna need for our cornbread recipe. So let's start with our dry ingredients. We're gonna do one and a quarter cups of cornmeal. And if you hear sounds in the background, that is Sophie going squirrely. Not sure what's going on there, but she's decided right now is the perfect time to tear around the house, make her tails on fire. And then we need a half a cup each of white flour and whole wheat flour. You could use all white flour, but I find that using half and half makes it just feel a little bit healthier. Now we want a quarter cup of sugar. White sugar, I have made this also with coconut sugar. It gives it a different kind of flavor. I'm not sure I like it as much. I think white sugar is the best. Um, you can add more or less depending on how sweet you like your cornbread. Uh, we need, got to look at my recipe. Did you see her go by? Baking soda. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. That's it for the dry ingredients. So give them a good whisk. Make sure that everything's incorporated together because once you've mixed the wet in with the dry, you really don't want to stir it a whole lot. Now, the wet ingredients. I need a quarter cup of margarine melted. So that has melted. I'm gonna add it into the bowl for the wet ingredients. And now I want one cup of cream corn, more or less if you want, but this is what I like about adding cream corn to my cornbread recipe is that it makes it really moist. I hate that word. Three quarters of a cup of corn and just mix that together. And now you want to add in one teaspoon of lemon juice. And the reason the lemon juice is important, <clears throat> you're not gonna taste it, but because we're not using eggs to make this rise, the combination of the baking soda with the acid of the lemon juice is what's gonna give it that rise. And that's why you don't mix these all together at once. You mix them separately and then just before you're going to cook it is when you mix them together. So you don't need a lot. One teaspoon. All right. So we're just going to mix these two together, not over mix, and then get it into the baking dish and get it in the oven. You know what I forgot? Oh my God, I am always forgetting the milk. You need one cup of this. And of course now I have to over mix everything because I'm putting it in after 
I'm a dork. Please remember to add the milk into your wet ingredients and give them a good stir before you mix the two together. Well, at least you know I'm not a professional <laughs> cook or baker or a YouTuber for that matter. So let's get it in here. I was, I was wondering why it was so, so dry. I am filming this at lunchtime and it has been a very busy morning. So that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. So just spread this out so that it's nice and even. I have preheated my oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's warm. And now I'm gonna get this in the oven. So we're gonna let that cook for 25 to 35 minutes. It'll depend on your oven and how hot it is and the altitude that you live in. So I'm gonna test it after 25 minutes and then if it's still not quite done, I will increase the time by five minute increments until it feels done to me. The timer's gone off. So I started with 25 minutes and it wasn't quite done. So it's actually, the cornbread has actually been in the oven for 35 minutes. And it's nice and brown on the outside, a little bit of color on the top. Oh, it smells so good. I'm gonna let this cool off a bit before I cut it and spread some butter on it. And I will be back to show you what that looks like. So it's cooled off and I am dying to try it because I'm starving. So let's give this a try. When you make cornbread with cream corn, it is going to have a softer consistency than if you don't use cream corn. This is really good with chili stew. For breakfast, I really like it with just jam on it. You can also make this into muffins. And if you do, they might take a little less time to cook. So I would cook them for 20 minutes, then check them. Give this a try. It's obviously really fast, easy, really good. Let me know if you like it. Please subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you on the weekend for the next video.